What's up, everybody? Ruby Ruby are here. Oh, that sounded terrible. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Ruby Ruby are here, and this is the first part of my horror game series, which I'm super excited for. Today, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a lobby, like this one ish it's not gonna be exact same because it matters what horror game you make but this is just like a cool layout of one that you could make also go check out this game horror kermit it's pretty cool and yeah i'm gonna just jump right into it because i don't want to waste your time so let's go okay so i started and i just made a basic road this is just where you stand on and see it this is not a tutorial for you to learn how to make mine it's, it's a tutorial for you how to make um a lobby it's not this exact one i just made a quick road and then what you want to do go to your palette search sky or sky dome and find this chip it should be this one and you get a configure tool and you configure your sky dome chip now you see the colors this is the top of the sky so if i change that to like guard that's that i think we want like a be dark outside so maybe like a black probably a black yeah a bottom so you see this blue this blue around we could change that to like a lighter a lighter black and then the bottom of see how it's green down there oh we can change that so we'll just do black and just black for this one and then the horizon color that's good and basically you can change all these settings if you want you don't have to like horizon size um I don't really like that. Now configure this red thing that says zero and put the value one. And now once you drop your maker pen, it will be dark out. Right? Yes, it's sunny. We're gonna change that too. Uh go to palette. Go to sun. Yeah, search sun. And then you'll find sunlight chip. And you just wanna place this down. So if you see all the suns over there. If you grab this chip, you can place the sun wherever you want. And just configure it to one again, if you want. And yeah, it's super bright right here. And we don't want that. It, oh, you could have it like that if you want. Uh, we're gonna figure it again. And we can change it to, like you can change the intensity of the sun. We don't really want any intensity. Uh, this size, so you can change like, the size of that. Sun glow, that's the outside. So you could do like this, but I don't think we want to glow. Sun glow horizon. Oh yeah, oh, I forgot another chip. We need, go to palette again and search back ground. And you'll find a background objects chip, which is how you get like a moon and place it down somewhere, does not matter. And then configure, as we all know. If you want to, stars. You have stars. I like it, so I'm gonna keep them. Moon, yes. Full moon. You could change the moon. Spooky moon. You could do a spooky moon. But I don't really want to. We're gonna do a full moon. If it's purple, just change the color to white. And now, moon. We have a moon. Which three chips we got? Cool sky, moon, and it's the sun's over there. Or it used to be sun. Now it's a moon. So, yeah. Um, next, we're going to start. Ooh, yeah. We should just keep building onto this real quick. So, I'm trying to think of something. So, you know how there's like, like tunnels. You basically want to get a half. Um, one of these. And... You can manipulate it because it looks goofy. That's cool. And then we can get a cube and recolor it to black. And then you become... Oh, okay, that's cube. Cube. Yeah. Come like here and then we just... A yoink. Change it. Just manipulate it. Manipulate it how you want. But it's fine. Um, it's fine. We're gonna merge and we're gonna clone these to the other side. We're gonna make fog. So let's come back over here. A fog chip. So yes. Actually, we might wanna put it for right here. 
the fog chip. Foggy. So, fog color. That's great. Start distance. I don't know what this means. Oh, you can actually change more settings. So I'm just gonna mess around with this until I find a good one. So, yeah, be right back. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So everyone, I did find uh, it's it's bright right here, but on my screen, not bright. It you can see where you're going, but it also is faded. Um, yeah. So that's how you do that. And now we're gonna, I think, the part right here, like where you click play and all that. So let's start that. Okay, so first, go into your watch and get a link button right here. So wherever you want your like play part to be, we'll do. It. Just configure the button. So let's just configure, configure the button. Link type a player if you want to link yourself, and I'll do me. Uh, yeah, me. So as you can see, here we are. Click here, and I have a profile. So now I have a link button. We can move it to the side. Move it anywhere. Just get some text. And we're gonna make the play. The text that says play. I recommend like bright white neon because that's really good white spam it's gonna say play okay it says play now we're just gonna scale it up scale just come up to it Yeah, that's good. So you got play. Yep, play button. And then we can clone this text. You can make your own custom text uh, by using a like, tube. But we're just gonna call it monkey horror. And then you can add, let's add like a subscribe button or a uh, cheer. Just search button, I guess. But ten. creator feedback buttons you could do these personal have to um oh, we should honestly size up this so this is some of it that we made now of course you could do a lot more this is just a very simple one you could add like a store over here you could add more like details but this is what i came up with um today and now we have monkey this is an example name of course thank you guys for watching this video hopefully it helped um anyone trying to develop a horror game know just a little bit more on how to make lobbies i'm not the most experienced horror game developer because it's not what suits me but if you want to become one here's a little bit how to make them uh, I was gonna add a lot more, but ex I'm trying to keep this tutorial short. Um, next tutorial, I will teach you how to make this play button work. So you spawn to a map. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Root beer out.